I'm a professional artist. You gotta put that professional because um, it's been many, many, many years that I've been doing this. And uh, my preferred medium is watercolor. But um, I doodle in a lot of different mediums. My first medium that I started with was graphite and um, charcoal. Then I transitioned into um, watercolor, um, which was a struggle, yes, because it's the hardest medium to paint with. And, um, but I do, I also do Conte, I do acrylic, which is my second in line. And, um, you know, anything that you put, pastel and all this type of thing, you know, I mean, I do, but um, I've never done oil. That's the thing. I've never done all, but it's it's in the, it's gonna be in the make. My my journey started years ago when I was a little boy. I always used to do it um, because I had two aunts in the house that I grew up in, and they were teachers. So there was always books and pencils and pens. And um, I don't know where the love of art came from, but I mean, I always say it's a gift from God because I never, never really study anywhere. But, um, and that's how it started, you know, with pen and pencils and continue with pencils. Practicing all the time and um, with everything, you know, I mean, that you do, you gotta practice. Like I tell, you know, when I'm teaching a class, I always tell, the um, students that the three rules in in getting to a certain level is practice, practice, and practice. Yes. Um, the love of it, the love of it. If I don't paint, I, I feel sick, seriously. If I don't paint, I feel sick. I have to move. Whether I'm in pain or not, I, I have to paint. A couple of years ago, after working in, um, in the refinery, I had a bad accident and I was suffering with a lot of anxiety. And that is what, because art is soothing, art, art is therapeutic, and that is what that really calmed my nerves. And I think from doing that, like I said, practice, 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 by doing that, my I noticed that my anxiety was getting, you know, to a minimum, you know, I mean, aspect and all this type of thing. But um, yeah, I wake up in the morning and I look out to do to do art, you know. Yeah. The still life that I has um, displayed, um, it's it's called prepping. Um, if you know this in there, you'll see some, you know, I mean, things that people would do when they're. They're prepping their meal, you know, with the pots and, you know, I mean, and all this amenities and all this type of thing. So, um, this still life, I always wanted to do a still life. And I'm an artist that is not just one subject. I mean, I have a preferred subject, which is people, but I'm not a one subject painter, in fact. You'll find sometimes there are artists who just paint flowers, some do landscapes, cityscapes, but I paint everything that you could think about. Anything you put in front of me, I'll paint it. You know, and as long as it makes sense and the composition is right and it speaks to the audience, I'll paint it. Um, this picture, the reason why I said there's a story behind that picture, if you notice the tablecloth, that tablecloth belongs to my mom who just recently passed away. I always ask her for that tablecloth because I always wanted something to do a still life. But um, after she passed away in 2020, I took the, the tablecloth and I said, you know what, I'm going to do something in remembrance of my mom because of the tablecloth. So I arranged, right in my kitchen, I arranged that still life. And even when I took the pictures, when I evaluate all the multiple pictures that I took, I noticed that the glass was empty. After I, you know, I dismantled everything, I, I noticed that there was no wine in anything. It was just an empty glass. So I decided, okay, you know what? Let me put some wine in there. So 
and it's like I said, it's a very sentimental part piece to me because it was dedicated to my mom and everything. So. It's, oh God, it's a high honor. And I'm humbled with it. Because um, lately I've been doing a lot of international and international competition and exhibition. And to see that these two pieces, because one of the pieces that you're looking at, out of 3,725 artists that was in a competition in England. Um, that painting with the fisherman mending my nets got, was of the top 200 out of 3,725. So I felt, you know, I was honored with a, a merit of, of, of a award of merit and, and that makes me feel good, you know, very, very good. In, in that, to tell you the truth, when I was, um, call for that show and I knew the the whole aspect of the show I mean I felt good to be in a master show especially with watercolor you understand what I'm saying I, I know they are different mediums but when you're talking about watercolor it's not everybody that could do watercolor or paint or watercolor you control watercolor but um, to be here and just let the people that I live with to see my work and even at the opening of the show you know I mean the type of the amount of people I was you know I mean coming to me you know I mean congratulating me you know I mean and you know applauding me of my work it makes me feel real 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 humble and real good My biggest low though was, um, let's not just, let's just stray a little bit. My biggest low was when I got in the accident. And I was, I had two major surgeries. It was a very, very bad accident. And I thought that, you know, I was never gonna paint her again. And, you know, because, you know, I mean, my leg was broken and everything. I had head trauma. Now I'm going through spine problems and all this type of thing. So I couldn't paint, I couldn't sit down, you know, and all this type of thing. You know, was, so that was a big low for me. That was a very big low for me. Like I said before, if I don't paint, I don't feel good. So, you know what I mean? So, but I would still take my sketch pad and doodle and all this type of thing. So, and from there, you know, I mean, after a while, you know, I mean, you know, get into the groove and then I, sometimes I paint with so much pain and you wouldn't believe me. I paint because I love it. Love being a, love being a painter.